Hi calling friends and welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for joining today. In today's video I finally want to show you um, all the embellishments that I use on my coloring pages to make them sparkly and shiny and special and to give them the, the certain extra. And um, yeah, I'm not talking about uh, like a white gel pen or something. This is also obviously a medium to embellish something. Um, but I'm talking more about my um, sparkly stuff, shiny stuff, pearlescent stuff, all the good stuff. <laughs> and um, yeah, today is actually quite light outside. So I will show you, I will present the uh, mediums that I um, like and use. I won't show you everything that I possess, but just the things that I actually really like and um, use uh, regularly to embellish uh, backgrounds or the pages. Uh, and I had filmed the embellishment uh, video yeah, last year actually, but uh, the footage was on my corrupted uh, hard drive, so I lost it basically. And the thing was, I... I wanted too much back then. So this time I make it a little bit easy for myself. I show you the products that I use. I will show you, um, yeah, as I said, swatches when I have some, uh, but I will blend them in. I will, I will record them later when it's just a little bit darker, when I can use a lot of artificial light so that they show up very well because that is the purpose of this video. And I will show you example um, images where I have used the stuff so that you actually can see how it's um, going to look on your page or how it could look on your page. And yeah, this is a requested video. So I sometimes I get this um, question if I could do such video uh, yeah, under my completed pages video, basically. So and yeah, so today it's the day we are doing it and um, I hope you will enjoy it. So and um, I have, uh, I did some research and watched some uh, other YouTubers embellishment videos and um, most of them start with the gel pens. Um, I will have the gel pens, but I'm starting actually with gelatos. <laughs> um, yeah, because uh, gelatos, they have those metallic and um, those galaxy colors and those are actually very nice. Yeah, for backgrounds and to make them shiny and pleasant and I love to use them. Um, so let me just give you a close up so that you can see it. Um, so all the colors that have metallic in, in, in its name, metallic or um, those galaxy colors, nebula for example, or what else do we have? Everything that has iced, this iced coffee, so everything was iced, iced rose. All, all those colors, yeah, metallic, metallic icing, one of my absolute favorite colors because what I love to do is, uh, for example, use like distress inks and then go over with those metallic um, Faber Castell gelatos. And yeah, that works just very well, very nice. Here, black hole, another one of those galaxy colors. So, and now I will show you an example. And here on this page, actually, this page is by Mariola Boudek. I have used it on the background here and it is kind of like a subtle effect. It gives almost like a velvety, velvety um, look, I would say. And this I have actually done, uh, I colored this with Distress Inks. And then I went just over with especially the metallic icing and just a little bit of the uh, metallic violet and yeah, some of those colors to create this background. And this is a method that I really like to use. And uh, yeah, so this was my first um, item that I like to use for embellishments. Let's continue. So my next item is actually um, the famous gel pens that we all use for embellishments and yeah i don't want to show off now the uh, 1000 uh, different brands that are out there there are really nice brands the arteza they also have those nice um iridescent uh, ones that i like to use that i actually really like to use recently those um are the specialty about these colors is that they are um two tones 
So depending on the light catches them, they will show in a different color. Actually, the ones that I would recommend um, if you, yeah, I mean, a set like this is not as expensive, but I think something that is very usable or very useful is actually those um, Jelly Roll Clear Stars. This is one of my favorite, or there is a, um, a similar one. This is this Unibol Zigno Silver. It is silver, but it's still quite translucent and very glittery. So this is a nice one, or the typical silver and gold gel pens. So these I use all the time for small embellishments. And um, they are different sizes, like like a small one. Let's zoom in a little bit now. We have those with a smaller and tip. Uh, for example, the 0.7 ones. And then we have those with a more broad tip, those um, Unibo Zigno Broad, so it's then mentioned on on the cap here, and yeah, and then as I said, my favorite one and most used one is this Clear Star by um, Jelly Roll actually. So this is one that I would um, yeah would recommend. This is nice to have. I will show you an example from this book, Dreamland by Coco Wayo. Um, here, I have actually used the Arteza gel pants and basically all this line work here um, is done with the Arteza gel pants. Let me bring in the light a little bit um, differently. So hopefully it's showing up here. So all, all the different colors here, um, not on the whale, yeah, just the line work here. This is all um, basically um, the Arteza, um, yeah, gel pants. And you can blend them into each other. That's the nice thing that I like about them. You take like three different colors and then you just make a blend from maybe silver, blue and violet here. I hope that it is showing up actually so and then I want to give you another example actually that is for a silver gel pen so here on this uh, beautiful image by mystic art mirrors I have used the silver gel pen on her hair and you know that uh, music art uh, mirrors she always has a lot of lines in her hair work and this is basically what I did here on this image, I, I lined, I followed every line that there was with gel pen, with a silver gel pen, and it gave this very um, cool, nice effect actually. So I think it is showing up quite well actually, and yeah, I also used um, the clear star jelly roll here on those wings as well, but I think the prominent part here on this image is just the silver gel pen, and yeah, these are effects that you, that you can't that you could create just with gel pans, and these are quite nice. So now I actually want to add in the next pans, and these are actually those, um, yeah, glitter brush pans. Um, this one, for example, is by Nuvo, Nuvo, and it's called the Glitter Gloss um, Aqua Shimmer, and they are just different brands. Like Wink of Stella is a very known brand. They have the clear one. Just zoom you in just a little bit so that you can see it better. So, and I always recommend the clear, uh, the clear ones because you can use those on just everything. While um, they also have some with colors. This one is a silver one, for example, or I also have a black one. But I really, I rarely use these. Um, Maybe on backgrounds you could use it, but I really rarely use those. So I would always recommend to get those. Um, this is a Spectrum Noir one, but to get those um, clear ones. This is crystal clear, so this is very nice to use. And my favorite one at the moment is this Glitter Gloss Aqua Shimmer uh, by Nouveau. 
So, and yeah, what those do is basically just they add some very fine um, glitter. And the Wing of Stella has a little bit of a golden glitter in it, while those two have more of a silvery one. And the best example um, to demonstrate this glitter is actually, again, from the Dreamland by Coco Wayo. I've used it basically here on the whale. So all the whale, whoops, uh, so all the whale I colored just with um, alcohol markers. Give okay, some different colors with alcohol marker. And then I went over completely with um, the glitter gloss by Nouveau. And that makes this uh, really extreme glitter. I hope it's showing up. This um, glitter, I have to say that it's very uh, fine. And uh, over time, I think that it is getting lost a little bit on the pages. It also transfers like crazy to the other side. Um, that's why I basically had this sheet of paper in between. But yeah, I think that um, this one doesn't stick as good to the actual image. So you will lose it a little bit over time. This is something to keep in mind. And then from here, I actually want to uh, bring in stickles. And Stickles is just a glitter glue. So Stickles is the brand. This is by a ranger and um, this is basically just a glitter glue. So there are many other brands that you can get um, glitter glues, of course. Um, just Stickles is a well-known one and um, I just like the Stickles one. Um, so I, st I stick to it, I guess. And um, I really like to combine those um, those aqua brush shimmer brushes with stickles then because i like to do an overall base with this very fine glitter and then add a little bit of stickles in parts of it like dots and um, yeah let me show you an example where i combine those mediums with each other and it is actually in this fairy and fantasy 3 by christine karen and it is here on the dress. Um, so basically here on the dress I have an overall layer with this very fine um, aqua gloss clear st um, shimmer. And then in parts like here around I went in a little bit with stickles. And uh, yeah, this is a way that I really, really like to use um, this medium. So and then another example is actually also in this book. Yeah, and it is like on this image here on on this part, which I didn't know what it um, was. They are also just added um, this um, fine glitter over all it, and then went in with a little bit of um, stickles. Um, yeah, to yeah to strengthen it a little bit. Also here on the rose, you can see it actually quite well. So. So this is an example for that. And now let's move that out of the way and take a closer look to the stickles actually. So as I said, stickles is just actually a, um, a glitter glue. Um, if I would recommend to just get one stickles, then it would be the diamond one. The diamond one is a um, clear one, a clear glue with um, just some iridescent um, glitter particles in it. It's even showing up here a little bit, I think. And I think it's the most versatile. Also, another color that I could recommend is Unicorn. Here it is basically the same, it's clear. And then this is just has a little bit of a warmer tone. Um, you see, this has a little bit more of a warmer tone to it compared with this one but it's also more or less clear and can be used on any page. And then another one that I actually really like is, yeah, this one is also quite cool. This is Mercury Glass. Um, this is a little bit of a um, yeah, silvery, coppery, I don't know, <laughs> tone to it. I really like this one. And the Disco Ball is actually one of my favorites, the Disco Ball. This is also um, 
It's not completely clear, but still quite good to use on any page, very neutral. And then obviously we also have stickles in, in 1000 different colors. And I think those colored ones are just, I think those color, colored ones we just don't um, use as often. Here's a nice bluish one. One that I really like is the enchanted one, this violet one here. This has a little bit of a finer glitter and yeah, just a black one, black diamond. But um, I have to say those colored ones, um, just a gold one is maybe good for flower centers. But yeah, I just use the clear ones the most. And um, if I would recommend you to get just one or two, it would be a clear a diamond one. Here's a nice example for um, the diamond stickles. I think I, I most of the time I use diamond stickles and I used it here on um, this um, plushy stuff here on his hat. <laughs> um, I also really like this for snow, for example. You can see how beautiful it, it shimmers. And um, yeah, so this is the uh, diamond stickles. And this, as I said, I use just the most. And um, I also used it on this image here by, um, this is by Chris Ortega. No, I'm lying. This image here is by Anis Guerrero. And um, this is a little bit older, but I, I use it here on her dress, basically. Um, so I added quite a bit of stickles here. And um, I think, yeah, this is also the diamond stickles. So you see, I, I really use the diamond stickles quite a bit. The colored stickles I only use uh, in those other examples that I showed you um, on which, um, yeah, um, I use these, um, these overall fine glitter and then just dots. That is when I use some colors. So, and maybe show you, uh, yeah, how this looks a little bit closer. So they have this very nice tip so they do have this very fine tip for application um, purposes and that works really well so you can use uh, it for putting it on in lines dots you can spread it maybe with a q-tip or something like that so yeah that is stickles so the next product um, that I really like to use is also by Ranger. And yeah, Ranger is actually a crafting um, brand. The crafters use all of this stuff quite a bit. And this one is Glossy Accents. And uh, yeah, so the Glossy Accents is actually a clear medium that will um, look glossy on your page. So this is basically a glue which will... Um, dry with a shine on it. Completely clear but a shine. Um, it also has a very fine point here for application just like the um, stickles. So that's very nice. And yeah, let me show you one example where I've used this um, product. Yeah, I used it on in this Jasmine Beckett Griffiths book here. Um, here is actually my favorite example of it. I used it here on the wings. So there you can see um, the shine. Can you see it? I, I think so, huh? So this is how the glossy accents looks. I also added a little bit of a gold uh, watercolor for outlining. But in the uh, wings, I've used this glossy accents, and I just I I didn't do a complete layer here. I, I did it so that we have a little bit of texture actually. So yeah, so this is the glossy accents and I like to use this, for example, on glasses, for example. Um, so everything that should look yeah, like glass or I also like to use it on snails, actually, because snails are quite, they have a little bit of uh, liquid. They are, uh, they look a little bit wet, reflective. And um, I think you can yeah create this effect with glossy accents quite well. Um, yeah, so this is glossy accents. So next I have to share some um, watercolors. These are 
shiny and uh, glittery. There are also metallic um, watercolors and these are by um, the Art Spirits. Um, so it's a shop, uh, a small handmade shop in the UK. It's Rebe Rebecca, it's just one girl, one woman who um, creates these. Um, and these I really love. So these are basically um, the only um, very glittery watercolors that I own and I really like them. So I have only those five colors here and I really treasure them. So these are just really some of my favorite watercolors when it comes to glitter. And this is Stonesy Rabbit Hole. This is a blackish shimmery uh, watercolor. I, I love always very dark uh, watercolors. This also has some glitter and shimmer in it. Then I also have this, um, this is Glistening Luna, and this has a, a very nice shimmer and glitter in it. Um, I will show you a, an example for this one in a minute. So this is Glistening Luna. Then I also have the uh, Twinkle. So this is Twinkle, this is kind of like a silver uh, watercolor, but it's also very um, glittery. A very fine glitter so the more water you use the finer it is and when you um, don't add as much water then it's very co yeah condensed nah. and then the very shimmery ones this one is uh, magic fairy dust this one it has a green glitter to it um, very beautiful glitter one and then I think my favorite one is actually this mirror dust here yeah and this has also just very extreme nice glitter so i will show you examples where i have used those So let's start with the uh, with the mirror dust here. So the mirror dust I have used here on her dress here. So on this part, this is the mirror dust. This is highly glittery, and it it reflects in all all the different um, colors from the rainbow. I would say um, it's very beautiful. So. A very nice effect. So, this is um, the mirror dust. And the page, by the way, I also use it, by the way, on her um, eyeshadow. So, this is also possible. Don't know if it's showing up so well. But yeah, this is um, the mirror dust, and this page is by uh, Daria Sakeshoi. So, then. The um, glistening Luna, this bluish um, color here, I have used in Magical Dawn by Hannah Carlson on a page. And yeah, so I have used this um, watercolor here on the blue stuff here, so I hope now that the glitter is showing up because I have used so many um, different mediums here on this page. I think now it goes quite well. So do you see this blue sparkle there in the middle, in the center part of this image? This is the uh, glistening uh, Luna by um, the Art Spirits. It's a beautiful color. It's, it does have a little bit of a... It's not clear, so I wouldn't use it on something like a crystal or a fairy wing because it leaves some um, dirtiness behind, so to speak. But when you use it on a background like this, where you have already a blue base and then add the sparkle blue, it's perfect. So now, now I bring you an example for the magic fairy dust. This was the um, glitter with this green sparkle in it. I'll show you Enchanted Faces. 
by Hanalin. And I have used this green sparkle, the fairy dust, here on the background. Um, so, I hope it's showing up. I have quite a bit of different stuff on here, so it's not so easy to show it. I have also silver gel pen here again on her hair. But we are concentrating now on the um, green glitter here in the background. So this um, goes perfectly yeah, for a background, I think. Or for wings, or I don't know. So, yeah. Um, let's take a look at the twinkles here. This was the silvery stuff. And I've used that so, in Cute and Creepy by Camilla Derrico on this page here. At the wa in the water. So need to try so that it shows up. Not so easy on a very light day today. I hope you see it. So it's in the water. Um, I have watered it down quite a bit so that it really like a nice fine glitter. And now we're actually continuing with watercolors. Shiny watercolors are by Clearo. These are pearl colors. Um, these are pearl colors by Clearo. Um, this is a brand that I really like. It's they are not not uh, the cheap alternative, but um, they have very nice colors and uh, very nice sets. Um, this is also handmade, I think I read on here. Yeah, handmade pearl um, colors. And yeah, let me show you. I do have some different sets. And my favorite one, or one of my favorites, is actually this. Oopsie. This galaxy set here. So I really like the colors in this galaxy set here. Especially also, you know, I like the um, when we have some darker color and those go very well. So I like it when we have colors that we can combine like these. I really like this very light um, golden color here. And then we have some nice um, darker tones. So this is a very nice set. So then I also got the Earth set. The Earth set is very nice selection of um, gold into bronze, more coppery ones and um, a reddish tone and a brown very nice brown tone here so this set i actually use quite often this is one of my oops uh, my favorite ones i guess and uh, yeah so what else do i have i have the rainbow set so take a look at the colors here the rainbow set i haven't used a whole lot um I mean, it has a nice uh, violet. I really like those two colors here. So this one and this one, I think those we could mix up together quite a bit. So with light shades and darker shades. Um, yeah. And then another special set that I own is this Magical Creature set. So this is quite cool. So this is a quite cool set because it has some um, yeah, color shift. A color shift um, feature in it. Um, yeah. Uh, let me show you an example where I have used um, this magical creature set actually. And it was um, this page here in the background. There I have used the magical creature set just over some other normal watercolors. And yeah, this way make it actually quite uh, shiny. And I hope you can see that it is kind of changing its color i will bring in the light again so here yeah i think here it's showing up quite well very nice so this page by the way is also by um daria sakyasoy and by the way on this little um, area here i have used the uh, galaxy set so this is from the galaxy set um you can see that those are very shiny and really I love those shiny uh, watercolors. I use those shiny watercolors. I use them quite often. I use them in backgrounds. I use them for outlining, um, which I will show you also in a minute. And uh, yeah, 
I just really love them. So let me show you another example. And here on the mushroom, for example, and I have used this earth set. So I've used the uh, gold and brown and all the different um, tones of gold and warmer tones that we have in the set um, just for outlining. And this is another way that I really like to use those shimmery watercolors because yeah, I just love shimmer and shine and this reflective um, colors. Um, yeah, very beautiful. Um, another example, maybe. So then I show you an example where I just used the gold color. This might also be from a um, budget brand because um, obviously there are also nice budget brands and you can just use it for outlining. This is also, um, I mean, for just um, covering a whole space with it. Um, like I did here in the background. Just a nice gold color. I like to use it on moons, for example. Um, let's show me another um, brand that I like to use. And this is Gansai Tambi. We have like those opal colors. Then they have pearl colors. Um, yeah, gem colors. And also the starry colors. And the starry colors, it has all... It has also all those different um, gold tones in it. Unfortunately, not a brown, but therefore we have a nice silver here and then very light um, champagne gold, light gold, a very yellowish gold, red gold and blue gold. But yeah, a nice variation of different um, gold tones. This is white gold. But it looks like a silver or platinum color. I, I really like those light tones here as well for outlining. And then I think those gem and I think those gem and pearl colors go very well together. These are um, a little bit more vivid, so to speak. While these are, I guess, yeah, a little bit more pearly. And but we could I, I really like when we have colors that we ca can combine and we do have, you know, this blue, then here's a little bit of a lighter blue. Same goes for the green and the yellow and the red here and the pink. So I think those sets would go very well together. One of my latest editions is this. Um, yeah, opal colors, actually. So these um, you can barely see any color on them. The color is only showing up when the light hits it directly. Um, here you can see it maybe a little bit. So we have here the blue, this is violet, and then here more pink, copper, gold or yellow. And then this one is a green one. So only when the light hits it, the color will show up. And this can be used on fairy wings, for example. So when you stick to those water, shiny watercolors, um, another one that I really love to use is this Paul Ruben set. It's very beautiful presented here with this um, nice cloth. Helping to get it out. I, I didn't fill in the color swatch here, unfortunately. But yeah, here is how it looks. Uh, what I like about this set is actually that I have all this variety of different colors. So that is um, just very cool. Um, so this is actually my most used set when it comes to um, yeah, pearless and shiny uh, watercolors because um, yeah, I can use this for every everything that I just um, showed you. Um, yeah, I will show you some more examples that I have done with the Paul Ruben set here. So where I use actually more of the colors. I really like to combine different shades of color, light shades, uh, very dark shades. So. Um, that's why I like this um, this set here. And I have used it, for example, on this um, Mystic Art Mirrors background here. So... Yeah, and then just the platinum color here, so... 
more dark here in the corner, for example. So that is one example. Then here's another one. Mystic Art Mirrors also used it here on the background. And here I use more the yellows and greens. And then I usually use like um, a watercolor base or new color. Yeah, then I just go over with the pearlescent colors to give some shine. Uh, yeah. Let's see how it's without the light. It's showing up here as well. Yeah, actually it's also showing up quite well. Is it? Yeah, here on the tail I've used the Paul Rubin uh, shiny watercolors and yeah, I really like how this looks actually. Really, really a very nice effect for mermaid tails. So mermaid is coming and yeah, I have a tutorial how to do this. Um, I will link it up in the corner. If you're interested, you can check it out. So the next um, item that I want to share is kind of similar because this is also um, doing a similar effect but this one is in a powder form it's by ranger and it's called perfect pulse it comes in different colors and let me open one for you where well, this so this has a powder inside and then i just um you know i put a little bit here in the cap put i add some water to it and then I use it basically as a shiny watercolor. This is also very nice to mix it with, um, yeah, just with normal watercolors, for example, or, yeah. Yeah, so perfect pearls. I really like to use this stuff, but um, I have to admit that um, just those shiny watercolors, like the ones from Colero uh, or other brands, will just do the same, basically. But let me show you some examples here. And one example is here in this mouse guard um, book. I really like to use the perfect pearls only for um, outlining, for really giving some um, some very shiny effects. Um, so, for example reflection of the uh, light here. I put it here on this um, like mouse and then a blue turn here on the stones basically. So and maybe silver one here on the um, on the sword. And there you can actually see it quite well. So this is where I like to use this stuff. I do have another cool example in Fairy and Fantasy 3 one of my recent images that I did, and it is here on her face, basically. Um, I wanted to um, yeah, show that this, shine, uh, this star here is very shiny and reflects light on her um, face, actually. And yeah, this is where this came in, where I really like to just use it as a very fine outlining. But yeah, as I said, the... Um, other shiny watercolors, yeah, you can do the same with them, obviously. This is just in a powder form, so um, I, I just have it from crafting, and um, yeah, so I'm using it. And one last example. One last example is on this image here. I have used it here on her harp and the scales here, basically. So um, yeah, there it is showing up, just when the light catches it. Uh, yeah, so this is Perfect Pulse, my Ranger, powdery stuff, and um, yeah, here on this image, I also used it here on the um, flower um, basket here, so to speak, just as an outlining, just as a shine that's coming from the moon. That's why um, my absolute favorite color is this... Um, this very um, light bluish tone here. This is my absolute favorite. And I haven't found a tone like this actually yet in my other um, sets. So that's why I, I often grab this one here actually. So it's getting quite long, right? Um, okay, then 
Another item that I like to use for glitter is Mod Podge. It comes in different versions. For example, I have the Mega Glitter Paillettes. This is my favorite so far. And I have the Extreme Glitter. Haven't used the Extreme Glitter actually yet, so cannot say something about this one, except that this one stinks. <laughs> but um, the Mod Podge Mega Glitter Paillettes, this is one that I really absolutely love and adore. Um, So let me take a look inside here. Maybe the glitter is showing up a little bit. This is basically just a glue, which also is used quite a bit in the crafting scene to seal pages. And um, there's also obviously one without any glitter. Um, but yeah, so this is, and this is matte glue. And then only the glitter shows up. And I have a very nice example here in uh, a Daria book. Fairy and Fantasy or Fantasy and Fairy, don't know. Yeah, it's um, this one here. And you can see it here on her dress. This is the uh, Mod Podge Mega Glitter Paillettes. And yeah, this is how it looks um, applied actually. And isn't this glitter fantastic? I absolutely adore this glitter and it's uh, yeah becoming one of my favorite um glitters actually a lot of embellishments on this page here actually still have to talk about this stuff here but um the outlining on this girl is actually also done with the colero i'm zoomed in quite a bit yeah so the outlining on this girl is done with the colero paints and then here on her dress, this is the Mod Podge. Love this stuff. I also also use the Mod Podge here in the Witches Coco Wire book just recently. I just have it quite new. And I also um, use it here on her dress. So I really like to use this stuff on clothing, <laughs> uh, on witches and... Um, those stuff and here I also again used um, also the um, perfect pearl so I usually always combine my stuff but yeah on the dress this is the Mod Podge. The next item that I want to share with you is this um, what is it this is Cosmic Shimmer whoops this is Cosmic Shimmer um, Opal Blaze Polish and this is a very cool product that I also have quite new. It is, um, it comes in those very small tins here and I, whoops, this is um, stuck a little bit. It looks um, quite white actually, but the beauty is showing up uh, Yeah, when the uh, light reflects it. It's a very colorful and very shiny. And I got this stuff from the UK. The UK have so beautiful um, glitter and shimmer stuff, actually. Um, was hard. I found maybe three tints here in Germany, but um, other colors uh, I just found in UK. And yeah, I have... Um, let me go through the colors that I own. I think I own all the colors that there are now. I have a full set, so to speak. Full set syndrome. So this is Golden Blackberry. Then I have the Gilded Avocado. Um, Sunset Orange. This is Turquoise Peach. And um, yeah, Sapphire Grape. So all those um, colors will show up in different colors depending how the light catches it. This one is Teal Raspberry, so a blue and a reddish or to call it, um, yeah, violet color, so to speak. And this one is actually the pink, pink blueberry. So pink and blue here. So, and I have used it here on this image. You can see it basically here on the background. I've used it. So here, um, yeah. And here it's showing up a gold. And kind of a reddish tone. I don't know if you also can see it. I will, I will bring in the light again. So now, whoopsie. I think now you can see it's more actually. 
reddish. And here it's more golden color. So depending on how the light um, catches it, it will show up in a different um, color tone and I love this stuff. This is really um, beautiful. Um, I also used it here on this image for example. Um, I really like to use it just and those little um, color um, additions here on, on the um, border of the page for example a little bit. I, you, I also can. I use it here with a stencil. So that did work as well. So, and here again, this one is more of a greenish one and gold. So gold or green, depending on how the light um, catches it. By the way, here on the glass, I've used um, glossy accents again. So another example for glossy accents, if you so will also on the clock here. Uh, yeah, there it's showing up quite well, I think. So, and uh, yeah, but we are um, talking about the um, Opal Blaze Polish by Cosmic Shimmer. Very nice stuff. Do I have another example? Let me just think quickly. Um, so, I have another example here in, on this gnome page. Um, here. So, the stuff here on the background, here. This is also the um, Opal Blaze Polish by Cosmic Shimmer. Um, yeah, I think now it's showing up. I will zoom you in so that we can concentrate a little bit more on this stuff here. Um, sometimes it's hard to show it. I don't know. Let's put this up a little bit. Um, yeah, I hope you can see it. It is this reddish or re orangey sunset color. Very beautiful, actually. So yeah so another thing that i like and use is stickled gel so this is uh, more suitable for larger areas so the stickles glue is maybe uh for finer details but this gel it also has um thicker um yeah uh, glitter particles in it it has kind of like um little stars and stuff um so bigger paillettes so to speak and um yeah the colors that I have used so far. So let's um, take a look at one closer. So this one is the Moon Dust. And I think the Moon Dust is basically one that is um, very versatile or which I so far oops, like the most. And yeah, you can see it here. Let's bring in some light. So maybe the glitter is showing up a bit. Um, yeah, so this one I really like, for example, use it on snow or on backgrounds. Um, I think this one would also go maybe quite well on um, on dresses. I think this is kind of similar to the Mod Podge, um, yeah, Mega Glitter Palettes, I think. Just that maybe the glitter particles not as big in this one, but also as colorful actually um, very beautiful this um, moon dust so if you would only want to buy one moon dust is uh, one of the colors or oh, when you want to try out then I would recommend the moon dust this is one that I really like um, but then I think also maybe I have here it's, it's hard to read but you can see the, um, the sparkle right this is solar flare this is so lovely. I think I'm I'm missing the gold. I think I miss a color here. But this one is or is this the gold? I mean it looks quite golden actually. This one is a little bit um dry though, I noticed. So I hope I didn't get an old batch, but you can see how glittery it is. It has those um star um flags in it. So this I think could be used on backgrounds. I have used this on a background. I will show you in a minute. Then what else do I have? I have here... Um, this is Nebula. This is the Nebula. So this is, I think, also more a neutral color. 
and this one also has stars in it so i think this one might be similar to the uh moon dust maybe just that it has a little bit more of a golden tone or champagne tone i would say and then those um big stars added in it so then i have um what is this this is asteroid this is asteroid i think this one would be perfect on a yeah on a night sky background maybe or if you just do a black background and then add this um, asteroid to it, I imagine that this would look just perfect. This has circles. Um, maybe it also has stars. I'm not sure about it right now. But this one has bigger circle palettes. And I think this is this is actually very nice. I haven't used this one here, actually. Um, so, and then the last one that I own is this. This is Dark Matter dark matter this is yeah quite blackish and then it has some colorful colorful glitters in it you can see there how sparkly it is yeah i think this one <laughs> i don't know what to use it for i haven't used it yet so um yeah Yeah, this was the solar flare. I've used this here on uh, the background. Um, yeah, just added it on top. And you can see how shiny it is. Reflective, very nice. With some, um, yeah, bigger um, star um, flags in it. This page here is by Daria Sakasoy. And yeah, let's zoom in to take a look here on the background, actually. So, yeah, this is how it could look on a background and how it could add to your image, actually. So, and then another example that I have is also a Daria page. You, you see, I really like to embellish Daria images. Here I have used the moon dust on the snow here, and I think that looks really nice. So this moon dust, I really like it. That's why I think I would recommend the moon dust for trying out, because it has a little bit finer glitter, which I think I like it a little bit better when it, when it has not the um, extremely uh, big um, yeah, flakes. But, yeah, so I thought this looks very nice here on on the snow. It's a very nice effect. Um, trying to zoom you in so that we can show it here maybe beyond the snow a little bit more. So I think it's perfect for snow, but this stuff can only be used on single-sided images, I would say, because it gives quite a bit of dump of dance i don't know how to call it um if you use the nice glitter for using on a double-sided page then it is the uh this watercolor glitter by the art spirits this would be perfect for uh, double-sided pages this stuff more for single-sided pages i would say same goes for the mod podge um so there's only uh yeah only one item left to show and it is this um yeah, this Cosmic Shimmer Luna paste here. So this is, yeah, a paste. So you can use this through, uh, you can use this with stencils to add a nice um, pattern to your background, for example. And this is reflective, I would say. So this one is a colored one and um, has some reflective um, stuff in it. And then what I um, prefer more is actually a neutral color again. This one is, this is the Moonlight Pearl. 
And yeah, I think this is a little bit more versatile than um, a colored one. And um, yeah, I will show you one example with a color and then another example with this Moonlight Pearl. And I've used the Moonlight Pearl with a stencil. So this is stencil paste. It's perfect for being used with stencils. But you can also just apply it with a palette knife, um, as I will show you now. So on this image by Lana Green Art, I've used the uh, Violet... Um, what is it called? Lunar Paste by Cosmic Shimmer here on the um, uh, on the frame, so to speak, so or as a frame. And yeah, so here I just applied it with a palette knife. So I just applied it with a palette knife, just take some of the product and then apply it in, uh, yeah, so that it's not too uniform. And um, yeah, so this is how that looks. And then with a stencil, I have used it here on this image, so this stuff here, that is the Moonlight Pearl uh, or the Lunar Paste, yeah, the Lunar Paste Moonlight Pearl used with a stencil, applied with a palette knife through a stencil, and um, yeah, this is the effect, and yeah, you can see it reflects, it shimmers, it shines, so this is really nice, and um, I'll zoom you in a little bit. Uh, again, so that we can take a look on it. This is how it looks. So it's not glitter, but it's highly reflective, I would say. And even looks a little bit glittery. So, yeah, I think, yeah, we're through. That's all. Yeah, I think it's all in frame. So um, here's a nice selection of my uh, favorite embellishments to use. I hope you enjoyed this video and that it was a little bit helpful for you to decide which embellishments you like. I hope that I enabled you not too much and um, yeah, hopefully I gave you some inspiration how to use it on your pages. So I wish you a happy creative time and I hope I will see you in my next video. So 